uh, Sam and Van here. Uh, blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. That's I, what you sound like. I so. do. I do that part. So. <laughs> that's my part. Hey guys, uh, Sam and Van here. Today we're gonna talk about an issue that I think is really important in today's society, which is Uber. We use Uber all the time. It's really important to rate your Uber driver because nothing's more important than like judging a person on a scale of numbers or stars. That's how I was raised. My mom like, Sam, today was just a three-star day. Um, I didn't know, even get stars. Go to the chokey. First, we're gonna start with a few sort of uh, uh, buzzer things that indicate that your Uber driver should have a low rating. Mm -hmm. ah. If you get in the Uber and they don't have a partition. If my driver won't pretend to be Drake. If they don't have Perrier. If my driver won't let me poop in the car. If you start hotboxing their car and they tell you, please don't smoke marijuana in my car. If it's not Travis Kalanick. I just think if you're like the founder of a hot startup, you should really be committed. I don't know why he isn't Uber. driving more of the Ubers, you know? If you open the water bottle and instead of um, there being vodka in it, there's just water, that's another star off. If they won't let me call them Jeeves. If I'm you're so like, Jeeves, to the theater! And they respond like, um, sorry sir, my name's not Jeeves. Jeeves? I need to go to Planned Parenthood. Jeeves, to the Planned Parenthood. Exactly. Pronto. I've never seen Driving Miss Daisy, but if it's not that, then like. If you vomit in their car and they get upset about it. Or if you like have already vomited and you vomit again. Psh, why else is your car there? If their car is a Kia. There are some things that you can notice in your Uber driver that will lead to a high rating. First and foremost, if they are pretty. Synonyms, attractive, hot, gorgeous, sexy. Give them a higher rating. They've really earned it. If I'm in no way threatened or harassed during my ride, at least three stars. If there's zero fondling involved, yeah. high rating. If your driver is really good at, at lip syncing things. Do you if the driver will help you raise your child. If they have a, a latte machine, a Keurig. If they pay you, yeah. I give them a higher rating. If their car is like a Mary Poppins car. What? You know how like Mary Poppins bag, she opens it and it's like it pulls out way more things than could fit in that bag. That's never happened to me, but I, I hypothetically, if that did, I, I, I'd probably give them a high rating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, totally. If you fall in love with your Uber driver and enter a deep, committed, fulfilling relationship with them, that's I mean, an that's extra star. that's ideal, really. Uh, if they don't say anything offensive about my religion. Fucking Jew. Um, what is your religion, incidentally? Uh, I am Jewish. What's a Torah? Uh, like a bull? Okay. Torah! Torah! The matador, and then like the bull. I think it's just a Bible, but folded into two tubes. I'm a Reconstructionist Jew. Um, my parents smoke pot. I don't have parents. I was born out of the head of Zeus with a spear in my hand. Now for you, we're going to enact a couple hypo... Hypothet, um, scenarios that, that aren't really happening. I'm first going to give an example of a good Uber driver. Hey, hello. Hi, welcome to my Uber. Would you like some Evian or Perrier or cocaine? Press the, the latte button. Do, do, do. Latte happens. Five stars, five stars. And yeah. see. And scene. <laughs> We're gonna do another hypothetical scenario. Van is gonna be a, a terrible Uber driver. <laughs> Van's not gonna get a bad rating just because she's an Asian woman. But it certainly doesn't help. Van, I'm standing outside the Park Barrington Hotel because they don't allow Asians inside. We're not racist or anything, um, yeah, because I'm Asian. Yeah, we can't be racist because Van's Asian. And you couldn't tell, because obviously this is not a car, but it was, you know, I it imagine- It was a Kia. It was a Kia. It was a Kia. For those reasons, one star. I once got in an Uber, and I think the lady might have been a gypsy. I say this because I got in, and she Wandering said- Wandering folk. Hello, are you Sim? And I was like, I was like, GYPSY OUT! YOU KNOW MY NAME! Um, it, it turns out it was because they can see your name on the thing. I would have just you know? maced her for yeah. being a gypsy. One time, I got in an Uber. Mm -hmm. And I looked in the mirror at the Uber driver. And I was like, oh my god, like you look a lot like me. 
what happened was I realized that um, I was just getting in a car to drive. I just don't understand why you need two hands on the wheel. I usually would like put up a knee. And, and just use your knee. I don't have knees or elbows. She's made of jello. Bill Cosby eats me! So, um, that's how to rate your Uber driver. Comment below if you have any wacky Uber stories or if you work for Uber. If you're Travis Kalanick, we'd really love to hear from you. We'd love a comment. We'll Thank you so much, guys. We're Sam and Van, and we totally can. Ow. Do it again. Do it again. Don't go straight to waving.